Hi guys, this is Lisa from Norman Lisa 26 Years. This is my food find. It is a Healthy Choice Simply Steamers Chicken and Broccoli Stir Fry. It is quick, simple, and easy, and it's something I can eat that's warm for lunch, and it's only one point. I don't eat them all the time, but when I need something quick and easy, this is the thing. So now, enjoy Living Large on Lifetime with Julie. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm headed to work, and here's what I'm taking with me for beverage, lunch, and snack today. Coffee is the same. It is a K-cup brewed strong for zero smart points and two tablespoons of Dairy Star fat-free half and half for one smart point. I have Teamy Skinny this morning, one teaspoon of Teamy Skinny for zero smart points brewed with lemon. And in case you missed my video yesterday, um, Teamy is having a St. Patrick's Day sale for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. So it's 20% off um, Teamy products. Use code Julie20, J-U-L-I-20, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 20% off. So coffee is one, Teamy is zero. Lunch is this today, a banana for zero smart points, a hard boiled egg for zero smart points, and then this is one cup of fat-free cottage cheese from Trader Joe's. So fat-free cottage cheese, one cup, three, smart points there and then my snack is here also Trader Joe's oyster crackers I have 20 oyster crackers for three smart points and an apple so everything I am taking with me on Friday to have before I eat dinner today is going to be six smart points wait sorry seven three for cottage cheese three for oyster crackers and one for that coffee. Hey guys, happy Friday! Thank you so much, Lisa, for that awesome combo intro and food find. That was perfect. Lisa from Norman Lisa, 26 years. If you guys don't watch her channel, you should head over there for some awesome food ideas. She does daily what I can eat videos, and she has some great ideas. She has some great dinner ideas, but this is a really good idea for lunch too, especially just to have something warm during these cold winter months. I know what that's like for sure. And for one smart point, you guys know I love some super duper low points food finds. So if you still want to do an intro or a food find or both for me, please send them my way because I love introducing you guys to you guys and food finds even better. Show me your low points goodies because I want to see it. Thank you, Lisa, that was awesome. Here's my outfit of the day, you guys. It's like ridiculously cold. I feel like weather right now is so unpredictable. I have no idea what to wear, when, <laughs> it's crazy. And so the good news is that I think it's not going to rain for the marathon on Sunday. Thank you, God, thank you. I think it's not gonna rain. The bad news is that it's going to be cold, like 60, 50, 60 degrees cold, both Saturday and Sunday. So Saturday, we're going to be at California Adventure. I gotta dress warm. I gotta bring a backpack full of clothes, lots of jackets, cause I will freeze. You know I will freeze. So that is actually less of a problem though than the marathon on Sunday, because I will also have to dress warm, which means I'm gonna have to be wearing a lot of stuff around my waist. Um, so when I get warm, I will have to wear a jacket around my waist, but then I'm gonna be walking, so I might get cold again. So it's logistics, it's all logistics. Ooh, it's cold. Um, so you guys, last night I had a very successful food day yesterday overall. Very, very minimal food, and I wasn't really too hungry for the most part. Um, I wasn't, I can't say I was satisfied with dinner because you know when I have salmon or any kind of fish, I have a ton, like eight ounces. <laughs> Last night's salmon filet was a very sad four ounces. It was delicious, but I need a lot more than that to feel satisfied or some carbs or something. So it was uh, very minimal. Um, 
the yogurt helped. The yogurt was really good. With it was very chocolatey, very good. It was it was literally almost like a chocolate pudding with just a bit of tang. So that was really good. Um, so the only thing I did end up having extra that you did not see was that I had one more. Um, apple before I went to bed just one of those small apples because I was legit hungry and that was it so I feel really good this morning um, not lean but not bloated so that's all good so I'm getting super super excited right now because um, I have a huge full exciting weekend this weekend I'm gonna go to work so exhausted on Monday but that's okay because it's gonna be worth it it's gonna be super fun and then um, we are talking about and planning all of the things that we're gonna do in Florida. Everything is just like coming together. Um, the cruise is set. I'm still trying to find something to do on Freeport Island in the Bahamas. Um, on the day we're going, weirdly, there are a couple tours that I wanted to do that they're just not hosting on that day. So that's a bummer, but I'm still looking. I wanna find a foodie tour. And if I don't, then Eddie and I are going to create our own Bahamas foodie tour. <laughs> I'm looking into some other things that we're going to do in Florida and just looking forward to California Adventure food and wine in the next three weeks. So very, very excited. That means though, because I have so much fun, some fun stuff coming up that I have to be on my game on the days that I'm not doing crazy fun stuff. So that means today, um, which is not a problem because tonight I plan on going home. Well, I have to go pick up my race number first. Then I'm gonna go home, have dinner, paint my nails and go to bed because I have to wake up at 5.30. Um, so tonight is not a problem. The next day I have to be on my game is next Monday. Should not be a problem. Um, so literally every day that I'm not doing my extra fun stuff, fun eating, I need to be dead on serious. And then the days that I am um, eating outside of my points range, I need to pre-plan everything. I've totally done that. I have everything I'm eating at the Food and Wine Festival tomorrow, I have pointed out to the bite. The only thing is I know I'm gonna be snacky after I eat the stuff that I plan to get from the food booths. So I'm still looking for some low points, California adventure foods that I can eat after I've had food and drink. <laughs> Snacky foods, essentially. So I'm still looking for that. Sunday I have pretty much pre-planned, um, unless Eddie wants to do something different, which I would be fine with. Sunday I'm not really worried about points, but I still have planned a pretty low points day. Um, Sunday's probably just gonna be a lot of resting after the marathon and then Monday we're back on it so I am just I feel really good about the next three weeks coming up on vacation and then of course after that whew, can't wait um, anyway today is a super busy day because I need to leave early and that always complicates things and I got to get my last workout in so it would be so easy to just be like oh it's Friday and I'm running a marathon on Sunday, so I don't really need to work out today. But I want to get all five workouts in this week because the next two weeks I can only do four workouts. So come on, Julie, one more, just one more, just three miles. It's all I got to do today, three miles. So I will touch base with you guys later this afternoon. Um, I probably won't get another break, so I will see you later in the car. Okay, I just finished all five workouts that I laid out for myself this week and I finished everything exactly as I had planned and I just have to tell you what a great feeling that is. Like, it feels awesome. I feel like I haven't been on my workout game for quite a while now and I know that part of it is because I didn't really know what I wanted to do, what direction I wanted to take with my workouts. So to be able to lay out, okay, I'm gonna do these five workouts just like this all week and just nail it feels awesome it's about time julie i feel awesome i feel very accomplished and i'm looking forward to the same feeling on sunday because it's going to be a great race yes 
Okay, so it's 5.45. We are headed to the LA Convention Center to pick up my race number for the marathon on Sunday. And it's a good thing I left at five because here's what traffic looks like. We're actually moving, so that's a good thing. There are the skyscrapers in downtown LA, and I think the convention center is actually past all of that. So we have a ways to go, and we have to be there by seven. That's the last time I can pick up my bib. I can't do it tomorrow, and they don't have them on Sunday morning, so. We have an hour and 10 minutes to get there. Okay, you guys, I got my free Big Five Sporting Goods bag. I got my LA Marathon Performance t-shirt. Such an attractive color. Why don't they make them brighter? I got the most important thing of all, my bib number, 20981, in case you see me on TV, which you won't because I'm not very fast. I also got something very important like my beer garden wristband because you guys know how much I love beer I'm actually hoping that they will have some just one glass of wine just one um, got lots of free snacks I got a couple of these RX bars I got a blueberry one and this one is a coconut it says almond cashews dates I guess it's not coconut these are seven smart points and I got two of these Oikos yogurts. One is coconut chocolate, no coconut nut, and a banana chocolate. These are four smart points each. Here's the other RX bar. I didn't actually scan this one, but the white one is seven smart points. Um, I had a part of a muscle milk protein bar. 
they make protein bars and I'm usually not a fan of protein bars you guys I barely even drink protein drinks so the fact that I even drink and like the muscle milk is good but so I decided to try the muscle milk protein bars they're pretty darn good I had peanut butter which was really good um, lemon it was okay and double fudge brownie which was okay the peanut butter was really good so I have to look up the points on that and estimate about how much I had already I had a little tray of chips that I showed you guys I have no idea why those chips were there I don't know if they're high protein or flaxseed or whatever but they were there and I was hungry so I had some um, so I did not have my snack today those oyster crackers so I'm trying to decide if I want to try an RX bar for seven smart points or a yogurt coconut yogurt for four I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna go with the yogurt but I might taste them both here's the big question though do you have a spoon I do not have a spoon because I didn't get one because I thought no nah, I'm not gonna eat this now but I have a fork <laughs> so um, I'll be able to eat most of it right here is the course map you guys it goes from Dodger Stadium to Santa Monica they call it the stadium to the sea and doesn't that look like forever <laughs> it's gonna feel like forever so on that note I feel entitled to both an RX bar and a yogurt however dinner plans have changed as well and we are going for my traditional pre-marathon pizza right he's not even paying attention you're not participating in this oh yes pizza at our favorite place so, so it's I'm going to look up the no 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 Round everybody knows pizza, how I count blah, my blah, pizza blah, 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 blah. Um, it's a couple days early but I'm feeling I guess I don't need that much fuel because I'm not racing I'm just kind of running kind of walking um, but I guess I'm gonna fuel up and I decided my strategy is this I'm going to run very slowly for as far as I can um, and when I need to walk I'm going to walk but I'm going to run slowly as long as I can and I'm gonna try to keep track probably by video of how many miles I can go running without really walking much just because I want to see because with the minimal training I want to see how far that minimal training will get me so anyway that's that for now I'm gonna try this yogurt and the RX bar okay did not eat the RX bar I'm very proud of myself because I was kind of on a roll there for a minute so I ended up having the okay so I had eight of the chips for three smart points a quarter of the muscle milk protein bar is only one smart point the oikos yogurt was four smart points and that's all I had so so far um, now we are going for pizza and I'm probably gonna have being real here probably gonna have three pieces maybe four and I'm gonna have wine so the points are going to add up here so I will show you as always my points totals <laughs> 